Hi, everybody. I'm Billy Morgan, joined today by the 2019-2020 Great American Conference Male Scholar Athlete of the Year. He is Mills Bryant. He wears number 58 for the Harding Football Bisons. Mills, thanks so much for taking the time to join me. And just tell us what this award means to you. Uh, this award uh, to me is such an honor. And first off, I want to start by you know saying thank you uh, to the Lord for blessing me with this honor and, and blessing me with all the opportunities that have led up to this point, with all the opportunities to serve and to play on this awesome brotherhood. I just have to be so thankful to him and uh, thankful to my family and to my wife, my parents, my mom and dad, everyone that has supported me along the way and, and driven me to be the best that I can be. And especially to um, the Harding community and uh, all of the opportunities there are there to serve because Harding is a great place. And if you want to get involved, uh, it is the place to be. So I'm so thankful uh, to all of those people and all that they've done and in being instrumental in this award to me. And uh, it just means a lot uh, to represent our brotherhood in this way. And there are so many guys on our brotherhood that just serve and serve and serve. And uh, I like to think that this award goes way beyond me to our whole brotherhood uh, and just shows the, the service-minded attitude and Christ-like attitude that this brotherhood has. Mills, obviously uh, the community service is, is so important to you. You talked a lot about that attitude coming from uh, just being a part of the brotherhood. What else do you uh, give credit to uh, wanting to give back to the community uh, so, so much? Well, I, I have to say, it started from an early age. My parents were always so involved in uh, serving other people. You know, they spent all of their time serving other people and never themselves. It was, you know, they were either taking care of me and my brother or we were at a Relay for Life meeting or we were at a Special Olympics event or we were at church or we were you know, cleaning up someone's yard. I mean, there was always an opportunity to serve when I was young. And now whenever I came to school, uh, that's just what I knew. That's what they had instilled in me. And the Bison Brotherhood just furthers that mentality. It's, it says serve first, self last. It is all about service. And that's what made me want to get involved. And like I said, Harding gives so many opportunities to get involved. I would, I would venture to say that every person on this campus serves in some way and so i just looked to uh get involved in so many different programs uh, as many as i could uh, and, and harding was a great place to do that and so things like special olympics and relay for life uh, have a very near and dear place in my heart because you know i i have a degree in special ed my mom was a special ed teacher for a long time and she's a professor here at the college and so she really instilled that in me uh, to serve people with disabilities and um with Relay for Life, you know, all of us have been affected by cancer. And, and so the research there that they conduct with the funds that come from Relay for Life, um, it just has to be done, in my opinion. And other things like uh, Student Athlete Advisory Council. I mean, that's a great way uh, for student athletes to have a voice with the school. And uh, student athletes deserve that voice. And uh, that's, that's kind of how I thought about that. Yeah, you served as president uh, on that Student Athlete Advisory Committee last year. Now, Mills, uh, the Harding football team led the nation in rushing last year. Uh, also, your GPA, 4.0, and all the things that we've talked about that you were a part of. I would imagine dedication is a word uh, that you have to use uh, in, in being on the time to accomplish all of that. Sure, sure. Um... I like, to, I like to think that it's not me. I have so much help uh, and so many people that want to serve alongside me. Um, and that, that's really how everything gets done. You know, it, I never did anything by myself with this whole thing. There was many other faces, many other names, many other people who are beside me working and sweating just like I was. Uh, and, you know, with school and football and, and serving, it's just uh, – just just that's what we're called to do you know I think God calls us to serve others and not serve ourselves for the most part and and I think that that mentality has been instilled by you know my parents and the brotherhood like I said and uh, th that's just what we're called to do so we're just uh, following the call that the Lord set for us.
All right, it's been a strange off season. Uh, what have you done yes. this summer uh, to, to be mentally prepared for your senior season, coming back to your senior season this year uh, in 2020, and just uh, kind of give us an idea of what you've been doing with your time. Oh, this summer, uh, it has been very interesting. Ever since we uh, got into the quarantine, uh, it was difficult for us as a brotherhood to train because a lot of people didn't have access to training facilities. And so uh, what we would do is just send videos of us training at our house. I remember there was one of a guy who strapped himself up to a four-wheeler and he was just pulling that around his yard. So, I mean, it's been a very interesting time. Uh, I've just been training with a couple of my brothers and uh, doing that sort of thing. Been working uh, at Harding and the Watson Center and also on a farm outside of town every now and then. Um, doing a lot of hanging out with my wife. Uh, we just celebrated our first anniversary a few weeks ago. So that was an awesome thing. And it's really cool. Uh, just, you know, I've also been able to enjoy the summer a little bit too, hanging out by the pool and doing things like that. But uh, first and foremost, getting ready for the season. And one last thing quickly, uh, Mills, just give everybody an idea. What what are you looking forward to after football, life after football for Mills Bryant? Yes, yes. Uh, for me, my plan right now is to take the LSAT, the law school admission test, in August. And, uh, you know, if I do well enough on it, I'm going to apply to law school and hopefully attend at uh, the University of Arkansas or University of Arkansas, Little Rock. I'd like to stay in state. We kind of like uh, being in Arkansas. Um, and after that, I uh, want to attend law school and uh, advocate for people with disabilities is my plan. And however that looks, I'm not sure yet if it's a public service or a, a private firm or something like that. But uh, in the long run, uh, I want to start my own law firm and open up my own business. And so that's, that's in the long run. So that's my plan. Mills Bryant, Great American Conference Male Scholar Athlete of the Year for the 2019-2020 season. Mills, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations once again on this honor, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you, Billy. I appreciate it.